I'm Dr. Orion Taraban, and this is PsychAx Better Living Through Psychology. And the topic of today's short talk is how to have effortless relationships with women. People often say that relationships take work, so many will find this hard to believe. But it is actually possible to have an effortless relationship. And let me tell you, once you have one, you will never want to go back to the old model. Consider that it takes no effort for water to flow downhill. Seeking the lowest point is what water does naturally. You can make water flow uphill, but it will require continuous energy and effort to do so. And this is what happens when you try to have the relationship you want with anyone. This is tantamount to taking on a second unpaid job. On the other hand, if you really understand yourself, and if you know how to vet a woman appropriately, then you can have an effortless relationship in which love, affection, and sex flow as naturally as water flows downhill. That said, while selection is a big part of this outcome, it's not the whole story. Fortunately, assuming that selection isn't an issue, there's really only one thing you need to understand to have an effortless relationship with a woman. And that's what I'm here to talk about today. However, before I reveal this understanding, please remember to like this episode and subscribe to this channel. It takes less than a second, costs you nothing, and it's a way for you to help spread this message to more people. So if you like what you're hearing, then please do the thing. Also, if you're thinking about going to grad school, then check out StellarGRE.com. And you can use the coupon code PSYCH for 10% off all membership plans. So, what is it that you have to understand in order to enjoy an effortless relationship with a woman? At this point, it may be useful, if you haven't done so already, to check out my episode, Women Treat Men the Way Men Treat Jobs, because it's within this framework that I will be discussing this understanding. As I said, there's only one thing you need to understand to have an effortless relationship with a woman, and here it is. All you need to do is to be her perceived best option. That's it. If it sounds simple, it's because it is. However, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's easy, since, as we've previously discussed on this channel, women want it all. Now, why does this work? Okay, women treat men the way men treat jobs, right? So men, think about all the professional experiences that you've had in your life. You've probably had several different jobs, which is generally enough experience to know that it's hard to get a good job. If you've worked for several years, you've probably encountered insufferable bosses, incompetent colleagues, demanding work schedules, useless obligations, frustrating bureaucracy, low compensation, feeling unappreciated, feeling disrespected, feeling burnt out, feeling like you're giving more than you're getting. These are all fairly common experiences as you make your way through the professional arena, especially at the beginning because you tend to have the worst jobs when you're first starting out. So let's say that you've had these kinds of experiences over the past five or 10 years, and that you may even have begun to despair of the possibility of ever finding a job that you don't hate, let alone a job that you love, and you finally land this fantastic job. It pays three times as much as you've ever been paid before. It gives you a flexible schedule with unlimited paid time off. It allows you freedom and control over your various projects and responsibilities. It provides excellent benefits, and you feel appreciated and respected by your colleagues and supervisors. Now, if you land this job, are you going to do anything whatsoever to jeopardize this position? Absolutely not. You are going to be on your very best behavior. And why are you going to be on your very best behavior? Because you know what else is out there. You understand that all other things being equal, if this job doesn't work out, it's going to be a step down for you. It won't be as good as you've got. You'll be paid less for more work. You might have to relocate. And at the very least, you'll have to go through the whole interview process again, which is a real pain in the ass. I've never met anyone who says he likes interviewing for jobs. And that's kind of what dating feels like to women in many respects. So 
If you've previously had challenging or unfulfilling experiences in the professional arena, once you find an interesting, meaningful, high paying job with great benefits, you are going to be employee of the month. The same is true in relationships. Even a woman with limited dating experience has a pretty decent idea of what is out there. Dating a narcissist or a stoner with no ambition or an angry controlling guy is kind of like working one of those shit jobs in your past. And if she's lucky enough to land a relationship with you, if you have an emotionally compelling lifestyle, if you know how to maintain high levels of attraction, if you're interesting and fun and fit and can provide her with high value experiences that she may not be able to find anywhere else, trust me, she is not gonna do anything to rock the boat. And why is that? Because she knows what else is out there, man. She understands that all the things being equal, if this relationship doesn't work out, it's gonna be a step down for her. One of the things that I tell my clients is that other guys make me look good. I have nothing to fear from other guys because I've seen the competition. And if you can't yet authentically endorse that belief yourself, then you've got some work to do. Your work is to level up your life by investing in yourself to the point that you can legitimately be perceived as the best option by the caliber of women to whom you are attracted. And this really shouldn't be that tough of a sell, as most of this work directly benefits you anyway. And once you succeed in doing so, you'll have other work to do, because the work never stops. However, let's just take this one step at a time. Also, if you're a woman's perceived best option, then most of the tricks of control and manipulation that guys are subject to using to secure love, affection, and sex become increasingly irrelevant. You don't need them. You don't need to try to control your partner or convince her that she should be there or mess with her emotions. You can be like an employer at a fantastic company that's in high demand. We'd love to have you, but we're not going to force you to stay and you're free to leave at any time. There's the door. If you are a woman's best option, she is going to be sweet as pie. She is going to be putting in effort. She is going to be sexually available. She is going to be gentle and patient and easygoing. This is the type of relationship that a lot of guys are looking for, and it does not require work. On the other hand, if she is difficult, or distant, or inconsistent, or impatient, or demanding, or whatever, it's almost always because she believes that she could do better. Maybe she had a better option in the past, who may not have wanted the kind of relationship that she did, Maybe she is comparing herself to her friends or social media, or maybe she's just delusional about her value and expectations. The reason doesn't really matter. The upshot is that you're not gonna have a good time and you'll be putting in more and more effort for smaller and smaller returns. The smart move is to select women who understand that they're lucky to be there. Anything less is a job. What do you think? Have you experienced this yourself? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for listening.